Whatsoever things are true. That's one of the first things the Bible lists for us to think about. These are the things that we should think on. He says, think on these things. What's the first one? Whatsoever things are true. So when we step back and say, let's think about things that are true. What are some things that we can think of that are true? One of the things that first popped into my mind is we could think about men in our lives that are true. I mean, isn't that great to know that we have some faithful men in our lives that are true? Or other people even. But I think especially of our pastors, our fellow laborers in the church, you know, our, our brethren in Christ. And I'll, and I'll be perfectly honest. I thought about people in this church and thought, man, what a, it's great to, to just think about what a faithful man this guy is. This guy's faithful to the service. This guy's faithful to the soul winning that's going on and, and, and loves the Lord. You know, I thought about that. Why? Because that individual is true. They're sincere. You know, we can think about preachers. You know, other preachers we want like to take, uh, they're preaching in online or or we, we look forward to meet, hearing them preach in person. We could think about these people to say, what a blessing it is to know that we have some people in our lives that are true. Amen. <clears throat> That's something the Bible talks about. It says in Exodus 18, it says, Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them. So when... Uh, when Mo Moses' father-in-law is telling him, hey, you need to, you, you need to you know, delegate some of this responsibility that you've taken on and, and judging the people of Israel, he tells him to look out certain men. He tells him to look out men of truth. And it's great to know that we have some men in our lives that are men of truth. I mean, could we easily say that we know some men in our lives that are not true? People that are very you know, uh, dishonest. I mean, there's very dishonest people out in the world today. People who do not care about the things of God. So it's good to stop every once in a while and maybe think about some men in our lives that are true. A man of God. The Bible says in 1 Kings 17, And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in thy mouth is truth. Isn't it great to know that we have preachers in our lives who the word that is in their mouth is truth? That they're preaching us the true things of the Word of God. Amen. They're not deceiving us. They're not handing the Word of God deceitfully. But they are actually trying to teach us the words of truth. Go ahead and turn over to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We ought to think about things that are true. One of the things we can think about when we stop to meditate on what kinds of things are true, we can think about the men, the pastors, fellow laborers, preachers that are true. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handing the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending to ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. I mean, we could definitely look these days, you know, even people that we might have considered to be true in the past, and people that have let, let us down, and think, and we could dwell on that, and we could say, man, it's too bad that this guy turned to be out a, a fake or a phony. And, you know, I could think about several people over the past in my Christian life. That have that have you know have, have turned out to, to to let me down or or, or hurt or be a, a harm to the, the cause of Christ, and we could dwell on that, or we could dwell on the fact that there are people in our lives, people that we do know, that have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, Amen. that are not walking in craftiness, that are not trying to you know be something you know be one thing one day and something else another, that they're sincere, that they're not handling the word of God deceitfully as so many are today. I mean, think about all the people we meet out door knocking go when we go soul winning that are just being absolutely deceived by people who are handling the Word of God deceitfully. We talked to that lady, that Jehovah's Witness Day. I mean, she knew her stuff, and I knew it wasn't even worth getting into discussion about with her. And I knew that I lost, I would lose her right when I got to the, to the verses about hell in my gospel presentation. And sure enough, I did. But it was a shame that that woman is being deceived by individuals out there who are handling the Word of God deceitfully. Yeah, right. And we should think about these things and meditate about the fact, if we want to think about something that's true, praise God that we have some people in our lives that are preaching to us the truth. Amen. Amen. 